the word translation is interesting when we talk about translational research. We often work with translators or interpreters when we're doing our clinical care. And what is a translator? It's somebody who can speak two languages. And I think translational research is actually the ability to connect the language of medicine and the language of science. Yeah, translation is about moving as well in a mathematical sense. You translate from one place to another and so you're taking some knowledge from the laboratory and applying it in the clinic and you're taking the clinical knowledge and bringing it back to the lab. It's a circle that is a beneficial positive feedback. As you guys know, it's some work that I literally started 20 years ago and informed by clinical experiences that I had, then into the lab and then back towards the clinic again and then ultimately towards a product which has just been licensed by Merck. So, you know, that's really what the translational journey is. It's that to-fro between lab and clinic and back. We really are the first university to formalise a training opportunity in translational research. So we're saying to students or clinicians, people in their journey, that if you actually want to do translational research, it doesn't have to be by osmosis. We can actually give you a formalised training program where you have access to people like you two and others who have made a career in this area who can instruct, inform and guide you into what a translational career looks like. So I do think that is an area that Monash has displayed national if not international leadership. Certainly there's nothing like it within the country or within Southeast Asia. It's a unique opportunity provided by the university. So what are the components of the modules of that program, Steve? Everything about platforms, clinical trials, how you design and carry out a clinical trial, what's the biostatistics that underpin that, what are the ethics about doing trials, how would you develop a small molecule to take it all the way through to a medicine for use in humans, what would be the use of model systems for informing you how to develop that program. And there's a myriad of different components of the translational teaching art that we've developed crucial ingredients for successful translational research are intellectual capacity, great colleagues, a curious environment, access to great technology and working with patients because unless you have all those things you can't do it. I want to ask a place where I can access all of those things. The fact that the schools are so embedded within the health services have such fantastic partnerships with the health services which gives us really tremendous access to the clinicians who look after the patients and of course the patients themselves. You have to have a teaching hospital environment to really be able to achieve that level of translation. We talked a lot about the facilities available and the platforms and the opportunities but the key to a successful career in this is really the relationships you build with your mentors and your supervisors. Yeah, I absolutely believe that it's the culture that makes this possible. We have a strong culture of mixing basic scientists, clinician scientists, clinical researchers, research nurses, that cross-pollination by geographically co-locating people who will work together in that way. For our PhD students coming to do translational research, they're attached to a supervising teams who include scientists, clinician scientists, statistical support, and an environment where they should feel that everything is possible. One of the beauties is that engagement has such incredible breadth. So if you're interested in working in translational research from women and children's health all the way through to end of life care, lupus, cancer, blood disorders, diabetes, heart disease, you're surrounded by a cohort that has a unique badge from the university and so we're keen on making sure the students have a journey that's going to end with an outcome. But you've got people there who are really committed to making sure every opportunity is available, making sure the quality of what the research is is as high as it possibly can be and ensuring that that student gets through to successful completion and gets launched on the next phase of their career. Ian, I think the great thing about Monash is that even though it's so large and so successful, we are all encouraged to work together and I can pick up the phone to any of you guys any time that I need help and I know that I'm going to get it. We're really working together to solve problems of human health in the end, there's one Monash.